Yo, what's up? What's good, what's good? I appreciate you taking the time out, man. Oh yeah, for sure. So you're down to three schools, Arkansas, Michigan, and Virginia. Um, and you yeah. announced today that you'll be making your college decision on Saturday. Um, so I'm guessing you're done with college visits, is that right? Yeah, it's a wrap. Okay, gotcha. So let's start with Arkansas. Would you say you feel any pressure um, to stay home and go there? No, nah, I wouldn't call it pressure. I mean, it definitely that's definitely a factor. I hear, uh, I mean, I hear all the all the people talking and all that. Gotcha, gotcha. How did your um, official visit go? Yeah, it went good. I got to uh, hang out with some guys I knew from back home and everything that's already up there. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. So Arkansas, they already have a commitment from Devonte Davis. Has he been recruiting you at all? Yeah, that's my guy. I didn't play with him playing uh, growing up. You know, growing up in the city is one another, another top guy in the city. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, what would you say your relationship is like um, with the coaching staff, and how often do you talk? Yeah, we got a pretty good relationship. Just uh, with them coming in, with them coming in later, you know, with the new coach, with the coaching switch and everything. So they they made it a point to uh, form a relationship with me. Gotcha. And then Michigan, um, how did that visit go? Yeah, that was really well, really good as well. I didn't know I didn't know any guys and stuff going in, but you know, over the over the couple, or except Todd. I, you know, we went on a visit together. So, but I got to got to know the team. And got to I got a good vibe from them, and then with coach and everything. Gotcha. So, is is Juwan Howard kind of the main reason behind you, um, or behind um, Michigan being such an intriguing possible destination for you? Yeah, I would definitely say yeah. Before the visit, for sure, because that's because I mean I just I talked to him on the phone and everything and his past and everything. Yeah, I mean, he's a, he's a cool, he's a good guy off the court and then just after the visit I got to see him in practice interacting with the team and then I got to know the rest of the coaching staff with like coach Martelli and everything that's because that's a question I had was um I guess with him being a first year guy I don't really know what he what he what he's going to do on the college level but then he got somebody like coach Martelli on the on the staff with all that with all that uh, experience so that uh gotcha. that, that makes up that gap yeah yeah, yeah. I mean, you mentioned him being a first year coach did you see what I put on my story today when he accidentally name dropped yeah. you like in an interview. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. I saw so that. I was like, wow, I haven't seen a, a head coach say a recruit's name like ever. So, yeah. you know, obviously he's still yeah, learning, but at least he knows, at least you know he wants you because he's, he's thinking about you. So. What's up? What's up? <laughs> but yeah. Um, so, as you know, Michigan, they just received their first commitment of the Juwan Howard area. Um, with Isaiah Todd, did Michigan landing him kind of increase your interest in the school? Um, I, I say yeah. Just uh, I mean, we talked and stuff on the visit. He said we went on our visit together. So yeah. Uh, so yeah, I, I say yeah. Just saying that, just saying that they building a the team. Gotcha. And then you know, Zeb, my my guy Zeb was already there, already committed. Right. Gotcha. So has Isaiah been recruiting you any? Yeah, we've we've been talking. Okay. Gotcha. And then Virginia, um, a school that didn't ri originally make your top list of schools, but you decided to add them on there. What do you like about them? You know, it's it's uh that's 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 a a winning program. They know how to win. Uh, coming off of the national championship and everything, I really like their play style, and I really feel like I could be successful in that in that play style. Just with the defending, I love to defend, so they, and they they heavy on that, and they just moving the ball, cutting, getting getting open, and getting open shot. Gotcha, gotcha. So, what would you say is your favorite part? Um, about college visits, you know, trying on the jersey, meeting the players, what would you say? Um, I would say, I would say meeting the players. That's because that's a that's a that's a big part, just seeing the environment. And but then I also like say touring the campus and just seeing everything about the seeing everything about the school. Like when you when you're being recruited and stuff through the phone, you can hear everything they tell you. But when you get on campus, you can see it with your own eyes. So yeah, definitely. And then the players, of course, they can give you a different perspective as well because sometimes the coaches they're only going to tell you what they want you to hear and they're yeah. going to tell you whatever they got to to get you to come to their school but you talk to the players and then they might say you know this is this you know this is that and kind of yeah, give you even, a, because even more than you'll probably think when you get when you get there like the, the player they're going to be recruiting and everything but they're really going to tell you the real and even though they don't tell you straight up you can feel it right and even like even like the guy that's this uh maybe playing in your position you know, he, right. might, he might not be feeling the same way as everybody else, so he's going to shoot it to you straight. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. What would you say has been the most difficult part of the recruiting process? Well, the difficult part of the recruiting process is probably 
once I once I finally narrowed down the list, and then when I got when I got to seven, it was seven schools that I was really considering. So I really had to investigate and get in get into each school and every little detail to really figure out. Because uh, I mean, added like at least out of my top three, I could I could end up at either one. Even even though even though like after making the decision and everything, it's by that much because every school is so close with the they got everything. Everybody got uh, pros and cons. Man. Right, got gotcha. you. Gotcha, yeah. and you had like thirty offers or something, so it's it's hard yeah. to eliminate over twenty schools. So yeah. all of them are, you know, you know, good schools, all high major D one. So yeah, yeah, it's tough. yeah. Uh, what would you say has been the most enjoyable part of the recruiting process? Um, you know, just just a lot of people can look at look at this time because it's a it's a it's a lot definitely with being recruited, having to talk to coaches twenty four seven. Talking to fan, talking to talking to everybody, but it, but at the same time you can't take it for granted. It's a time where like where you where you every, everybody where you being wanted. Everybody wants you. Wait, hey, hey, I got you. We got a guest star on the live right now. We, we got it. Yo, <laughs> got K, it. what's up, bro? Yo, Congrats, bro. man. It's big time. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. I ain't know who you're talking to. I thought you were face down. <laughs> I got you, got you. Um, have you talked to uh, any other guys that are still uncommitted also um, about possibly, you know, playing in college together? Yeah, I've talked, I've talked to a couple guys. Uh, I talked, you know, my guy KK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, talk, we, played, we played together coming up and everything. So and a, lot of, a lot of people are talking about that. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. All right, man, that's all the questions I have for you. I appreciate you taking the time out, and good luck with the rest of your decision. Oh, yeah, for sure. Appreciate right, you. Thank you. Thank you.